Well, welcome everyone. Um, today, we're going to be visiting with a prophetic artist. Her name is Ashley Henry. And my name is Misty Clodick. I'm the owner and founder behind Community of Christian Creatives, which is a community of believers and creatives from all over the world. And they love sharing um, their gifts and talents and just changing the atmosphere, changing um, hearts and lives and bringing healing through uh, the gifts that God has given them. So I know you're going to really enjoy getting to hear from Ashley. She has a beautiful heart and you're going to love what she shares about her creative journey. So we're just going to invite Ashley in and we're going to start. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Ashley. We worked it out. We got it. Yes, <laughs> it all worked out. <laughs> Only a few times. <laughs> mm -hmm. Welcome. So I wanted to ask you, normally I, instead of trying to tell other people about who you are, I'd like to ask if you can share a little bit about who you are and the things that mm -hmm. you love and what God's having you do and, and things like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, my name is Ashley. Um, I am an artist. I just love all things creative. Um, I remember <laughs> when I was a kid in high school and I said, Lord, please don't ever put me in a job where I have to wear a suit and tie. <laughs> yes. Just put me in a place where I can be creative. Um, and so he has done that and it's been absolutely awesome. And wow. so, um, you know, I love primarily to paint with acrylic, but I also like to um, write some poetry. Um, I'm trying to dabble in guitar a little bit, but yeah, that's just how I like express myself and express the love of God to others. Um, and then just a fun fact about me. So I can quote pretty much the whole movie of the Chronicles of Narnia. It's my oh, favorite awesome. movie. <laughs> it's my favorite movie ever. So I will yes. watch it on repeat if I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good movie. Mm -hmm. I really like that. That's awesome. Um, I know, like, my history, like, way back from the high school, mine was Princess Bride, but that was before Chronicles of Narnia. So, <laughs> <laughs> Chronicles of Narnia is much better. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So, I was going to ask, because um, I know we're starting off kind of fast here, but mm -hmm. um, your introduction to art and how did you know that you had a creative gift, like, in any way? Mm -hmm. I think I knew that I had a creative gift um, because other people were telling me. Um, I remember distinctly right. when I was a kid, I would draw at the kitchen table <laughs> with my mom all the time. And one of my mm -hmm. favorite pictures, I must've been like two or three years old, but I was sitting in a high chair with my pinky in my mouth and I had purple <laughs> markers streaked across my finger and I was just so happy. And so I remember just drawing um, and watching how my mom drew flowers and I would try to copy her because I thought they were so uh, beautiful. And then yeah. uh, even with my uh, babysitter, Miss Cheryl, she would come over um, and, and I would show her the pictures that I made and every single time she would see them, she'd go, oh, Ashley, you did that. And so it made me realize like, oh, they're having such a strange There's reaction. There might yeah. be something to it. Yeah. <laughs> and so I would just have that constant encouragement from other people. Mm -hmm. And that made me realize that there might be something more that I'm experiencing with uh -huh. art than maybe um, the other kids were experiencing. So that is really neat. So you always felt like this draw to um, to be able to create and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I can relate to that like being a child and not, it's like you don't even realize that there's something there that mm -hmm. feels normal, you know, yes. and, and you just begin to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I just felt everybody felt the same way. Yeah. Like I would look at colors and think, oh, everybody <laughs> loves colors as much as I do. So. <laughs> like, why yeah. the color? I like, exactly. Mm -hmm. I have a joke with my twin sister about that um, where we would go shopping and, and, I would just love some of these things. She's like, Misty, just, you know, we used it as a curtain or hanging on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but I love it. Yeah, I will get lost in Walmart looking at all the pretty things. Right. So it's everything. <laughs> exactly. That's awesome. So did you ever think that you would be selling your art or mm -hmm. teaching art or anything like that? I, <laughs> I believe that I started to catch vision of that when I entered 
my 12th grade, my senior year of high school, um, I had gone through this weird period in high school where I didn't really know what I was good at. I had this mantra of like, I'm good at a lot of things, but I'm never great at one thing. And um, okay. so I was trying to figure out what was my one thing that when people think of <laughs> Ashley, I think this is what she does. And so I realized I would always doodle, I'd always draw. And when I got into my senior year, um, I told my mom, I said, I think that I want to go to art school when I go to college. That's the one thing that I'm good at. And she said, oh, Ashley, but you just doodle. Because she never saw me be really serious oh, about it. And right. I, at the time, <laughs> before Jesus, I got so offended. And so yeah. I went and I got a black piece of paper. And I drew the most realistic looking Tootsie Roll Pop that I could. And I showed uh -huh. her. And then she said, oh okay, maybe uh, there's something to it. So after that, that kind of catapulted <laughs> me into really diving into it and, and kind of mm -hmm. um, having an idea of like, okay, well, maybe one day I can sell my art. Maybe one day I can share it with people and yeah. have it be more than just doodles in my notebook or just, you know, stray pieces of paper right. here and there or canvas here and there. So that's really what got me going. That's good. And mm -hmm. actually you caught the vision of, <clears throat> excuse me, the like what your mom was expressing or, I think so many people do is that they see art as it's just a hobby or a thing, mm -hmm. that's kind of neat. And that's really what got put on my heart to encourage other creatives with is he's caused, well, he's called us to prosper and to abound and he's given us these gifts. Mm -hmm. So they aren't just like, well, that's kind of neat or a little hobby thing. Um, and I think God wants to break those lies off of all of creatives. Mm -hmm and everything. I think he's really been doing that too. I think yeah. that's so true. I love that you say that because, you know, just like we're a body and every part of the body has a different function, <laughs> there's a different exactly. function for artists. You know, there's a different function for a painter mm -hmm. than there is for a musician, but you need all yeah. of them. Even um, right now at my church, I'm, I'm helping to serve on their media team and I'm seeing oh, how awesome. the people in the back end, their creative gift is helping the people who are on stage with their gift as well. And so there's, there's a purpose okay. for everything. Yeah. It's really true. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. like I even steered away from doing like the artwork um, after I got into college. I mean, I was doing all of it and doing all the classes and everything too, but I got steered more towards graphic design because mm -hmm. there was the, well that, you know, you'll do better and that, meaning not because the talent's not there, but the, you know, you'll make more money or mm -hmm. you'll be able to make a living or that kind of thing. And um, I believe that God is tearing that down too. It's like, he's calling, I've met so many others too, where God has been calling them back to this, you know, these gifts that he's put in their hearts. And I love mm -hmm. the fact that you've been nurturing this gift and going, no, I'm going to do this because mm -hmm. God's put this in my heart. So you, it doesn't seem like you've derailed in any way. So that's no. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. Um, so, well, awesome. a big part of what I do, so I don't do art full time. Um, I do right. have another job and partly, you know, my dad was really encouraging me because there is the stigma of like, you can't really make a living as an artist, which it can right. be very hard in the beginning to do that, but you can work your way yeah. towards that. Um, so mm -hmm. he encouraged me to um, look into like, a second major when I went into college and that's what I did. I did communication right. and yeah. I also did studio art. Um, but I think what it comes down to, if the Lord's really calling you to do art and to do that full, full time, <laughs> is looking to the Lord and saying, God, you're my provider. You said that you're my shepherd yeah. and I shall not want. So you're calling me into art. Yeah. So I'm just going to lay it down and do what you're calling me to and just watch how the Lord opens doors and does like miraculous things in your life. Amen. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, he does that. It's like out of the obedience when you just like surrender and just trust him, you know, mm -hmm. and that just, it's like it just opens up too it really does <laughs> uh, yeah it's like sometimes i think the things that we really have to obey in or the things he puts in our hearts were like catch us by surprise mm -hmm. you know like the community was a surprise to me because yes. i was just an artist <laughs> and i was like okay you know <laughs> and to begin that was just yeah but mm -hmm. god is so good and what he, he brings is. together it's just okay. steps of faith and oh yes yeah. <laughs> no it's absolutely steps of faith actually even creating with them is trust, you know, mm -hmm. and steps of faith because um, especially whenever we lean into like, um, we don't go in with a plan first, you know, and mm -hmm. you just begin to create with them. And that's part of the relationship, you know, it's like you, I don't know, mm -hmm. it's just beautiful. So, <laughs> okay, I was gonna ask you a question. I have some, okay. I'm gonna try to get through some of these questions too, because I know they're really good. Um, 
Okay, so I know that sometimes uh, creatives, they don't know how, well, it's not like they don't know how to explain it, but they try to explain what they do to other people and sometimes they don't see it the same way or don't receive it the same way. Do you find yes. challenges in that? Or what kind of challenges do you experience? Hmm. I think it can be a challenge and how I would compare it to it would be um, trying to learn another language. And so art mm -hmm. is its own language. And so if I'm trying to explain to somebody who doesn't know the language, what perspective is or what um, shape or line or 2D, 3D, any of those concepts, and they don't understand, then I need to speak in a way that they would understand. And I wanna help to bring them into that conversation. And so awesome. um, that's one thing that I'm learning how to do. I don't, I don't ever want to wow. approach it in a way that I'm here and you're here. Right. You know? um, yeah. I want to engage with them. Um, I, I think about how and everything goes back to the Lord, but yeah. I think about how the Lord made everything and he has the most reason to boast if you did boast in that. But yet he doesn't, <laughs> he applauds us for what we know of what we right. learned and that really humbled me a lot. So there's no reason for me to boast in my knowledge, but yeah. to come to a place where I can be like, hey, let me show you as much as I know. Let me help you mm -hmm. um, understand so we can communicate and have dialogue together. I think that's yeah. awesome. Um, God's given you a gift and a desire for the bridge. You know yes. what I'm saying? The communication Definitely. part, because there's a lot of creatives, their heart is just to create and go, here you go. You know? Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and God's put this in you to create the bridge of, mm -hmm. let me explain this. This is why, and all of that, mm -hmm. like between those that don't do the creating normally, although I think everyone's very creative. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but just, oh, that's beautiful. Like, I love mm -hmm. that. That's awesome. I haven't met someone else that God has put that in their heart to like be mm -hmm. a bridge. So that's yeah, really exciting. Definitely. Yeah, I think I had I had a hard time when I was in college and I was reading um, these artist statement statements and they would be so lofty and I couldn't understand wow. really what they were saying. And yeah. I think that's when I determined in my heart that I want to bring everybody into that experience to where they can all understand yeah. and we can all be on the same you know, playing field, so to speak. So I just gotcha. love being able to communicate that. <laughs> and that's yeah, beautiful. Thank you for that. I love that. Um, oh, okay. So I know I was talking a little bit about this before, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> when you create, because I've seen like your Instagram and I love like a lot, I love your artwork. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Um, <laughs> whenever you create, how do you encounter the Lord? like as you're creating? So the first painting that I ever made, it was called um, In Remembrance of Me. And that's a painting where Jesus, he's holding these grapes and he's squeezing them and the the blood from his hands um, kind of mm -hmm. like morphs in a way into uh, drippings that become wine and there's bread and everything. Mm -hmm. And so um, it was supposed to be a representation of communion and how we're supposed to have this intimate connection with the Lord, remembering what he did on the cross and how he died for us. And so um, that came uh, shortly after I graduated from college and I was very bored, staring into the depths of my ceiling, not knowing what to do. Yeah. And um, this image just popped into my mind and I began to paint wow. it. And so um, that's typically how it starts for me. Um, I'll just have an image pop into my mind and normally, mm -hmm for some reason it's when I'm around post-it notes. So I'll just take it and I'll like draw little oh, really? post-it note drawings. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll draw little post-it note drawings and I'll stick it somewhere yeah. in a notebook and I'll come back to it and be able to draw something bigger. Um, and so yeah. that's how God <laughs> gives me work. Then there's other times where I might be feeling really strongly about something like, um, you know, there's one time I felt, I think it was very overwhelmed or just a lot of things were happening all at once. And so I painted this picture called In Over My Head where a person's reaching their hand up and Jesus is coming down and grabbing them up out of the water. And so it was just an expression of my heart, what I'm feeling um, mm -hmm. and what I'm experiencing that I believe too, other people can kind of relate and come into that narrative as well. Um, awesome. Yeah. I hope you don't mind me sharing this. It's so interesting because sometimes, okay. And I, I've dismissed things many times in my life where I like, I will picture something and mm -hmm. someone's talking to me or whatever. And I don't say something or whatever, but I'm going to just share that with you. So okay. when you were sharing about um, the communication and the bridge and everything, I began to picture like this. <laughs> it was like really powerful, but there's, mm -hmm. I just saw lots and lots of artists that you would be 
and creatives that you would be connecting with that really need that and they need that support of like explaining who they are or what they do to um others I, that was just really neat <laughs> so anyway um, so that was really going to be i just saw you working with a lot of creatives hmm. like that so that was yeah, really neat i would love that so yes <laughs> <I really laughs> that. that's awesome yeah. okay <laughs> that's awesome um okay so your favorite ways you have lots of ways that you like to create so what are your favorite ways that you like to create hmm. <laughs> and they change <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> so i love to outside of painting because that's what i primarily do right i love to um just create songs like random songs so what i'll do there's this really? thing called lo-fi oh. music and it's just like kind of like this hipster um, yeah. like beat or something. And so I'll look That's at the cool. title and if it says nighttime, then I'll try to make a rap to it. Usually I'm in my car driving home, but I'll try to make yeah. a rap using that word as the key word <laughs> <laughs> as I'm driving home. And That's it starts awesome. to sound kind of jazzy and I love it. <laughs> oh, that's um, really cool. Have you recorded yeah. any of them or? Um, I have tried to. Um, I just yeah. m normally do that for fun, but it's just a way for me. Like I'll, I'll sit there and I'll spend my time with the Lord, like in my car rides, and I'll say, "Okay, Lord, mm -hmm. the next word that comes up, I'm gonna make a song and I'm gonna make it for you." So <laughs> <laughs> even if the word is taco, I'll be like, "Okay, how can I make this?" <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It just, it just makes the challenge a little bit harder. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> um, <is> true. <laughs> but I, I love to do that at least with music and then with art. Yeah. Um, so some people in their secret time with the Lord, they have journals and they try to write mm -hmm. and they'll write um, what the Lord's saying to them, with the Lord speaking to them throughout the week. And I have tried for years to do that. And I have half finished notebooks all over my house because that's not, <laughs> that's not how not I, <laughs> that's not how I express myself. And so I realized my grandma, she got me this really beautiful, um, just sketchbook <laughs> and it kind of looks very heavily, has like little gold, like um, sequins on it and so mm -hmm. I'll take that into my secret place and I'll say okay God what are you what are you speaking what are you saying and I'll start to draw my secret mm -hmm. time places with yeah. the Lord and so those are some of my mm -hmm. favorite ways to be creative outside of painting that is really neat mm -hmm. um, I heard another artist talk about some of that one time before too and it really encouraged me because for mm -hmm. years I would journal and I had lots of completed journals you know when, from the time I was a kid but then all of a sudden, it's like it began to change. And it frustrated me because <laughs> I'm like, why am I not doing what I used to do with all the writing, you know? Mm -hmm. And the Lord's been reminding me, <laughs> paint, or just, you know, encounter me in the creative, mm -hmm. you know? And he wants to encounter us in every way that we <laughs> create. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> drawing or like, I mean, not just drawing, but um, not just writing, you know, journals. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's a, that's similar to what you were saying with the creative. She was sharing the same thing. So I think that, you know, I used to always feel like God was, I know that he speaks to us in all different ways, you know, things that we see, things that we hear, you know, things that people say and stuff like that. And I think as a creative, sometimes we get in this, you know, or even just as a believer, we get stuck in this, you know, one way thing and he just kind of wants to break us out of that you know mm -hmm. and experience so many different faces of him in so many different ways so mm -hmm. beautiful yeah even different you're encouraging me. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. as you're saying that i'm even thinking about even different techniques because I, I hear sometimes artists will say you can't paint this way you can't do it a certain way and no. i tell people <laughs> The yes, way that you create, <laughs> the way yeah. you create is an expression of your heart. And so you can stick your finger in it and do whatever you want. There's some whatever. technicalities that it might help you to create art that looks like something, you know, mm -hmm. looks like something relatable. Um, but if that's your heart expressing it on a canvas or a piece of paper, it's still, it's still art and it can still and be it, And it's personal. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like making it your own. Yeah, I don't think there's any one particular, yeah, I get there's technical things to do, you know. Mm -hmm. And obviously, certain paints you probably don't want to put on your finger, but <laughs> no, like, probably oh, not. Really. <laughs> probably wouldn't want to finger paint with oils, but <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know, it's like there's there's all kinds of ways to create, and I think oh, I used to experience that too in college. Um, mm -hmm. My professor was like, 
Misty, can you help, you know, some of these other people? Sure. You know, um, so I would be like, well, how do you do this brush stroke like this? I'm like, however you want to. You know? <laughs> I'm like, you just make the brush do what you want to, you know, mm -hmm. kind of thing. And I think sometimes when people are trying to learn it and they're working so hard, um, they forget that it, that you just relax and you just, mm -hmm. you know, when you flow with it. Yeah. yeah and there's fun. something like yeah, it needs mm -hmm. to be fun, not at like work kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so I was going to ask you, um, are there other creatives? You, okay, your mom. I did hear okay. you say that. Mm -hmm. so are there other creatives in your family? And can you talk about that? <laughs> yeah, so I would say my mom is very creative. And I see, I see <laughs> the creativity in pretty much all of my family members. Um, mm -hmm. You know, my dad, he's very creative with his words. Like he... He can argue very well. <laughs> argue very well. Yeah. Um, and uh, my brother as yeah. well. <laughs> my, my brother as well. Um, he has the gift of words, but he also has oh. um, photography as well. And so I'm, I'm just like, you need to yeah. go into that. My sister, yeah. she's an amazing drawer. And Jordan, really? if you're watching, you need to draw more. <laughs> um, yeah, she's, a, she's an amazing drawer, but she's also creative in how she connects people together um, to have relationship and to have friendships mm -hmm. with one another. And my mom, like, she's, she's so creative in how um, she is able to draw as well. And I think, too, I think my sister gets it from my mom of just having that, um, that hospitality, finding ways to, like, bring people in and help them feel like family. Mm -hmm. I think that's so important. Um, gotcha. And my mom also loves style too, like just with clothing and whatnot. She, <laughs> sounds like she's very creative with her clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So everybody has something in them that they yes. can just draw upon. That's really good. I, I remember talking to my mom about that <clears throat> because she didn't feel like she was a creative, you know, as mm -hmm. much my dad is um, as well. And you know, my dad has done art and is a design engineer kind of thing. And, mm -hmm. and my sister is like, oh, I can do, you know, stick drawings but that's not the only thing that she's creative in either it's like people forget mm -hmm. that they're creative you know because it's not just it just because you don't have a brush in your hand mm -hmm. you know or a pencil doesn't mean that you're not creative you can be creative in so many different ways that's and so god's true. using you to bridge that i'm like i yes. love it so much <laughs> like even uh, somebody who's a mathematician or somebody who's a scientist they're finding creative <clears throat> solutions to problems yeah and so they're still using that creativity but heavily leaning upon logic or you know those other skills <clears throat> yes i love the fact that um you see like the um like there, it's such a wide scope mm -hmm. you know exactly i think that god, i really believe that god is breaking that down mm -hmm. i believe that's one of the things that he's doing right now so i believe so you know, there's so many things <laughs> i believe that god is opening our eyes to see a lot of things right now but, mm -hmm. Uh, there's some things that are going on in the world. I'm not going to go into that right now. <laughs> Don't need to talk about politics today. So anyway, <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So I wanted to ask you, like, as far as like this season that you're in, um, like whatever God's doing right now, what is God showing you about the season that you're in right now? Like, what is what is He doing in that season? Mm -hmm. Um, right now I'm in a season of being faithful with the little things. Um, I remember, uh, waking up one morning and I don't want to spoil the painting, but I woke up one morning <laughs> and, um, I just felt like, Lord, like I have all my paintings hung up around my bed cause that's the wall space that I have. And right. so I just remember, um, looking at my paintings and saying, Lord, I, I see that you've given these paintings to me. And I, I thought that I would be further along in my art journey than I was. Um, my expectations weren't matching up with reality. And so I was yeah. just wondering where is the disconnect in that? And the Lord told me, do you remember the story of the boy with the five loaves and two fish? And I said, yes. And he told me, be faithful with the little that you have and I'll multiply it. And so I, I'm just living in this season of, um, well, yes, there's a lot of responsibilities and a lot of things to do, but if I'm faithful with the painting aspect of it and I'm faithful with the administrative aspect of it and I'm faithful with the social media aspect of it mm -hmm. and I do what I do and I give it as an offering to the Lord, he'll take mm -hmm. it and he'll multiply it and he'll bring those paintings in front of the people that need to see it and ultimately yeah. in front of people whose hearts need to be touched by the message behind the painting. And so I'm That's walking right. in that season. It's like in... Um... Whenever we make him the audience of one, you know, it's like mm -hmm. 
He is our audience. We do it, everything is unto him. And so when you're connecting with him, the relationship is, is with him and you're, cre- you know, all of the creating is with him. And then he takes it from there, <laughs> you know, and he shows us, okay, connect with this person, network over there, put it here, put it there. Okay. I know you'll take care of it, you know, and that's part of the freedom too. You're like, it's not mine to carry, you know, and he does that. That's beautiful. Yes, it's so true. And so that actually became um, one of the ideas for the painting that I'm going to make. So I'm still working on it. So I'm going to be awesome. releasing that hopefully in the next like month or two, probably two months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to ask you, like, do you have like favorite colors that you like to paint with? I mean, okay, I do. But it's like, <laughs> sometimes I, I think I'm color. not like, the only one. I'm like, yeah. um, so like, what are your favorites? I, oh man, that is such a hard question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I love um, this art style. It's called uh, Chiaroscuro. And I think um, it was painted mm. in Baroque style art. And it's when um, you have really dark darks <clears throat> and really light lights. And so it kind mm-hmm. of, in a way, would look unnatural if you were to try to like take a regular photograph of something in the dark. But it has a beautiful contrast that I love. Mm -hmm. And so for me, um, my my teachers in college would always tell me don't paint with black because it makes um, your image (laughs) look very flat. (laughs) And so I will take my reds and blues and make a very dark black or very dark purple. And I just love Mm -hmm. the richness of that because even though it looks black, there's still depth to it. And I I love that. I love to do um, outlines, like uh, like outlines around the images, um, not so that it looks Mm -hmm. cartoony, but I just love the style of it. And I just like you see the depth. Yeah. Yeah, like I think of um, mm-hmm. Cezanne and some of his paintings where you'll see this fruit, but then you'll see kind of like a darker edge around the fruit or around a vase mm-hmm. or around uh, a cloth. Kind and of like so, framing it. Yes, really. definitely. Yeah. Like framing it within the piece. Mm-hmm. And so I love that. And so I like to use that dark color or just a darker color um, associated with that object and do a line around it. So, yeah. Oh, Sorry that's for- so cool. <laughs> so, okay, like. I do watercolor, so it's very mm-hmm. different. So, do you normally work with oils or is it acrylic? I like, normally work with acrylic. Yes, oh. I like that you can work very quickly with acrylic and have it dry yeah. and build upon it. Um, <laughs> oil paints take way too long for what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it smells really strong. I'm like, yeah, it does. That too. Yeah. And the cleanup and teardown is very long too. So I'm all about being quick. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally understand. I think I love that about watercolor because. Mm-hmm fast but i i'm gonna yeah i can move it around the page and make it do what i want to and it's you know some mm-hmm. people are frustrated with watercolor i'm like i don't know like you know <laughs> not well, like frustrated with watercolor, right? <laughs> what is it sorry i was talking over top of you um i said i get frustrated with watercolor because i just yeah. i feel like i can't understand i can't understand that language i need somebody to bring me into that <laughs> <laughs> i feel that way with acrylic mm-hmm. i can do it for crafts and things like that but um the acrylic frustrated me like in college when I would do my stuff I'm like oh just couldn't stand it it's like because there's the you know the light to dark you know like the um how you do it it's a different stepping process yes yes I do light to dark with watercolor and you can do dark to light in mm-hmm. acrylic yeah yes <laughs> different techniques for it sure is different. yes exactly it's funny. It's like we, yeah. <laughs> God put on your heart acrylics. It's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll learn from you. <laughs> okay. So I know I've asked you about like the spiritual side of things or quite a bit on that. Um, I was going to ask you about like any business type things, like um, as far as like, I know everyone's different with that, with, you know, being an artist, mm-hmm. but um when you think of like it being costly, do you feel like it's costly to be an artist or to be a creative? Mm. I think it has the potential to be. Mm-hmm. I would say that based on um, just how many supplies or what kind of supplies some um, materials are going to be more expensive than others. You know, if you like to draw with markers, Copic markers are going to be a lot more expensive yeah. than. Mm-hmm. Crayola markers, but the quality is going to change. And so I think in the very beginning, I would, uh, I would get a canvas here and there and I would get, um, you know, my primary colors, my red, blue uh, and yellow, 
and white and I would work with that. And then as I got mm -hmm. um, more experience or I had more money, <laughs> I would go out and yep. get different colors. Like um, okay. I think you see that painting that blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very specific blue that I can't just mix and make. And so right. I would find um, stuff, find things like that. Um, and so I think in the beginning, it's it can be a little bit cheaper if you're just pacing yourself. Um, mm -hmm. But as I've gotten more into it, the, the type of canvases that I want are one and a half inch gallery wrapped canvas, which look really beautiful, but they're going to be more oh. expensive. Or yeah. um, the types of paints that I want might be more professional type of paint. And so it's right. just learning how to budget, not trying to get everything you want all at once, but little by little, right. just like, I think it's in Proverbs, how the ant will go out and do its daily task and they'll store up bread and all this stuff. They do it little by yeah. little and that amounts to something big in the end, so. That's very true. Mm -hmm. um, I think the, like the biggest painting I ever did while I was in high school, it was two feet by two feet. So for watercolor, that was pretty good size. No. Yes. <laughs> was, I think it was like really the first painting that I did in watercolor, but my my set was like three dollars and something, mm -hmm. and you know I had all these colors that I loved in it too, but like you said, it's not about like the price of it either. It's how you do it, like and mm -hmm. the gifting and just all of that. You know, you mm -hmm. use start small. You know, use what you have and. And it, it's still beautiful, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, exactly. And there's many ways to take like the small and make it beautiful. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. And Lord just grows it like the five loaves and two fish. Definitely. <laughs> just being faithful in the little things. <laughs> Not despising small beginnings. This is true. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So I know that I've learned... I'm still learning. I learn all the time um, to help me try to be productive and stay on task and a lot of different things. Um, are there different things that maybe you've learned that help you like to be productive and things that you would like share with somebody, like share with other creatives? Definitely. Um, I think when I was first starting out, um, getting more serious into doing more professional painting, I thought that you had to be inspired every time that you went to go pick up a paintbrush and paint. And I realized very quickly that if I waited until I felt inspired, I would get pretty much nothing done. Um, and so I, I had to be diligent to set down times and say, okay, maybe Tuesday and Thursday at two o'clock, I'm gonna paint for two hours. And I would have that as a structured part of my day. Um, and so that way I realized, wow, I could actually maybe get a painting done like maybe get one painting or two paintings done a month if I actually just schedule time to go and to start. Um, and then also just something yeah. more practical. I have never liked planners, um, but I actually got one. <laughs> I use it now. It is fantastic. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> and so I'm able to organize my day. And if something shifts, then I can make up for it. Instead of painting on Tuesday, I'll paint on Wednesday. Um, and so, so, yeah. So I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So I'm just making sure that I just give myself time to actually be creative. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's <yes>. hard. <laughs> yeah. I, I do know. It's like all these other responsibilities mm -hmm. kind of come up. And it's like it's easy to push that to the side. Oh, it's way too easy to push it mm -hmm. to the side. It is. It's just to say, oh, maybe in a little bit, maybe in 30 minutes. And then 30 minutes turns into three yes. hours and you or whatever. missed your yeah. window. That's right. And then it's gone. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, and um, that would be me. <laughs> so I get reminded all the time as well. I think mm -hmm. I learned um, if I did time blocking, you know, like okay, from this time to this time, you know, I and I set those things up for myself too. And at the end of that time, stop and go to the next. That thing. works. <laughs> that works too. It's like it gives you okay. I have the freedom to work on this and this and during this time, and then do the other things I need to do too. But hey, if it didn't take us long, great. I can come back to, you know, doing whatever. But mm -hmm. um, that and bullet journaling, I gave that a try for a handful of months. That was really good too. It's kind of mm -hmm. like a brain dump at the end of the night, you know, where you put everything, I mean, like whatever thought you have, you know, you just put it on paper or whatever. And, mm -hmm. and then it's like, okay, good. <laughs> and so anything you don't want to forget, you know how we kind of like balance things, mm -hmm. you know, like I can't of importance. Yeah. Like that. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I, I've been learning that kind of helps with business because there's the little things that start to add up and mm -hmm. they interfere with our personal stuff and wanting to get the personal things done too. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I started to learn more. So I think even in this last week, um, how to give my schedule over to the Lord. I remember this this weekend in particular, um, I think was one of the, the busiest, I would say, weekends that I had in a long time. And I got to a point of being, of saying to the Lord, how am I supposed to get everything done? Because <laughs> it looks like I don't have enough hours in my day. But I just decided that every day I would set certain things that I knew I had to get done. And then I would ask the Lord, okay, what should I do now? What should I do now? And he would show me what to do and I would do it and then feel great when I accomplished it. And so um, even just when you don't know how to start asking the Lord how to start, and he'll begin to show you and give you prodding. So maybe you should work on this graphic design thing. Maybe you should work yeah. on um, getting your stuff ready for, to start another painting. Um, and so <laughs> that's very helpful because the Lord knows best. <laughs> he does. He really yes. does. And he knows how to keep us in balance too. Like mm -hmm. sometimes we forget that as well. And then because he said his yoke is easy, his burden's light. Mm -hmm. And what you were talking about just a second ago reminds me, I was talking to my husband about this earlier. Um, <clears throat> something someone had said the other day and it reminded me of it that, um, and this is, this is so important that I think there's many times and we don't even realize we do it, but um, we will, I don't want to say in our, in our own understanding, our own thinking. I mean, there's like the everyday activities, right? And mm -hmm. we just go ahead and just use our own understanding, our own thinking, or just for everyday stuff. Mm -hmm. And we don't think anything about it. And then when there's a problem, oh, Lord. <laughs> and then we talk, <laughs> we talk to him. <laughs> but that's not what he intends. He intends mm -hmm. it's a continual relationship. relationship, And then, then the continual talk to him about everything. You yeah. know, and get his input on all of it. Yeah, it's never never having that connection broken and always having your eyes on the Lord. And so in everything that you're doing, there's just thanksgiving. There's just a remembrance of just the lordship of God in your life, but also the fact that you get to walk through life with your best friend too. So like right. he delights in things that you're doing. And, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and awesome. he's there to help and to be with you. So it's great to yeah. never have that be broken. Exactly. Well, it, it keeps joy alive. It keeps mm -hmm. peace, like solid, because there's that continual connection, you know, and continual mm -hmm. leaning and listening. And and um, when the distractions come in and we let them come in, um, then it, it's like we hear different things, you know, mm -hmm. all the different doubts or this or that. And, and that really brings a lot of unsettledness. And we don't, I think, I know for me at times, I've gone there too many times, you know, where um, where I would start listening to something or that we start listening to it and we don't even realize we're listening to it. Mm -hmm. And Laura's like, hello. <laughs> you're like, oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Or we go in, I don't know, as a creative, I think we're, we experience so much like even with our emotions, you know, like how we feel deeply. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's how we create too. We create from like the connection that we have with the Lord as well. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So do you do that as well? Like a lot of, I think you do. Like when so, you do your work, but. I do. So I, um, I think even as a kid, I would just feel things so <laughs> much deeply <laughs> than every, yeah. everybody else. And at least my, my brother and sister, I, I would feel like I was, um, but I didn't know um, how to channel that. So, yeah. Like in the fall with Adam and Eve, it's like our emotions got all messed up. But right. in relationship with God, and when we spend time with him and have our mind renewed in him, our emotions mm -hmm. start to get renewed as well. And so I think there's been a refining happening um, mm -hmm. where when I spend time with the Lord, he refines my emotions to where I'm not, um, you know, like running frantically because I have to paint right now. There's still that passion and excitement on the inside, yeah. but it's, um, <laughs> <laughs> there's still yeah. that fire that's on the inside. Um, but there's more wisdom in how I'm using that emotion to paint and to do what I'm doing. 
that's awesome. Um, I started thinking of something when you were saying that. It was like the um, I was relating to what you were saying. Mm -hmm. um, and then it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm, like, on. I'm good. Um, <laughs> sorry, I was like, so what's that again? Um, but it was the, you know, the excitement and the connecting with them. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. It's like. He wants us to get excited about connecting mm -hmm. with him. And oh, there's something else. <laughs> Sorry, I do that when I have a thought. Um, <laughs> but he, um, he's, he put on my heart this um, a number of years ago that um, I don't know, it's just maybe something that I felt like he showed me. But like whenever we start thinking on him, mm -hmm. you know, and he comes to my mind. It's whenever he's like saying my name, mm -hmm. like, like, because we think on him because he's thinking about us. We love him because he loves us. Yes. And it's nothing that we can like stir up or create that like he's continually drawing us to him. Mm -hmm. and I'm so thankful that he's, I think we, I think we need to thank him more. It's like, for making me creative. Thank you, Lord, for making me creative. Thank you that you put this gift and this desire in my heart, you know, and to create yeah. with him. What and being able to connect with him in that way, because yeah. not, not everybody will look at a color, like the color red, and have their heart leap inside of them. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, that's yeah. the way that God chose to interact with, yeah. you know, people who are creative, and even people who wouldn't necessarily call themselves creative, but when you can look at the world in that way, it's just so beautiful because you're seeing a certain part of God's heart. And um, actually one thing that the Lord was telling me, I think this was my conversation with the Lord yesterday. He asked <laughs> me, what what color is my love? And I said, what? <laughs> he said, what color is my love? And I was like, okay. And I was thinking, and I was like, well, your love is like <laughs> a burnt umber, like, like a fireplace, like when it's yeah. winter outside or your love is warm. Um, yeah. Yeah, like your love is yellow, like sunshine, like it just, it warms my face. Or your love is like water, like it's cool and refreshing. And so at random mm -hmm. times, the Lord will stop me and say, what color is my love right now? <laughs> like, okay. That's so awesome. <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> wow. That's, it's like, um, whenever I see artwork, I can see like what you're describing mm -hmm. is like what I experience i just never really i never thought of it that way mm -hmm. um because i see artwork and i just see the joy and i see life and i see mm -hmm. like these different aspects of him and all the color that's so interesting <laughs> <laughs> everything points back to him <laughs> yes everything goes back to him mm -hmm. to him through him for him wow that's good okay <laughs> okay about a little bit about business um i was going to ask mm -hmm. you so we were talking about like scheduling and stuff like that mm -hmm. um oh and do you find it like more enjoyable where you do things like um where you write things or you do them like electronically you know like keeping up with stuff like that I'm more so, um, for my day-to-day -day schedule, I find it better to carry around um, a little agenda kind of um, calendar oh, yeah. with me. Uh, in the moment, if I'm talking to somebody or something comes up, I can just flip yeah. it open. I can write it down really quickly. Right. And I'm trying to move away from being on my phone so much. I know that right. you need your phone for social media and you need your phone for Facebook and, and all of these things. <laughs> um, if it wasn't for art, I probably would be off the grid. But yeah. I, I need to have a place to be able to share what the Lord is is giving me. And so exactly. I'll use that calendar for writing down things. And then um, I will use my computer when it comes to um, if I need to make a post, you know, for right. Facebook or for Instagram, um, the social media, and also just the administrative side. I have to keep things written down when it comes to financials, ha having spreadsheets or having charts <laughs> and just having a way to keep everything Art. organized. Yes, <laughs> everything organized. It's not my favorite part, <laughs> to be um, honest. Um, yeah. I have to be more diligent about that than being diligent about painting. But when you do it slowly and consistently, it makes the end process so much easier. It's true. I know there's like certain parts that we enjoy more than others. And 
And mm-hmm. I think the Lord encourages me with that too. He's like, this is just for a moment. And I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not long as you have a <laughs> Well, I, I tried to run away from the administrative side so much until it was staring at me in my face and I was like, I have to yeah. deal with this. I had no and, the Lord, <laughs> and the Lord was telling me, Ashley, just choose one day a week to do administrative yeah. work. That's it. And I said, okay, all right, one day mm-hmm. a week. And I'm still working on that. <laughs> but it's, it's just starting. It's recognizing, okay, the Lord said to do this. So just start one day a week. And then as you mm-hmm. do that, you're going to realize, because God is always, he's always faithful and he's always right. <laughs> and so you do it one day a week and it's going to help with, with everything else that's associated with, with the painting process. That's good. That's very good. And the Lord has been saying similar things to me too. It's like, mm-hmm. and it's like the administrative or different parts. And because there is different parts that we, yeah. And maybe there's a strength versus, you know, like, or we kind of question, well, am I doing that quite right or whatever it is, but like just setting this amount of time, you know, like time blocking or whatever, um, mm-hmm. it'll work. So I don't know how I just did this, but my battery is going lower. So I'm going to okay. ask another question <laughs> and then I was going to ask you if you could, um, if you could like pray for the creatives mm-hmm. and, Definitely. um, would be awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I wanted to ask you, like, if you had any encouraging words, words of wisdom, things, revelations, things that God's given you that you would want to speak over creative that maybe the Lord has taught you, like it can come out of whatever we were talking about or whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think um my biggest thing is uh for creatives, whether you've been in it for a long time or whether you're just starting is to remember not to compare yourself to others. Um, Mm -hmm. I think so often, especially when we're learning, we'll look at the person next to us or um, look at somebody who we really admire and we'll get discouraged because I can't paint like them or I can't draw like them. Um, But what you do is so specific to you. Nobody could draw like you draw or paint like you paint. And your expression is different from somebody else's and that's a good thing. Um, I think we have to get rid of that scale of that it's good or it's bad and just yes. go for it, you know? Um, and so don't compare and just continue to learn. I think I, I love to look at YouTube videos and just continue to be immersed in learning um, from other artists, from going to art museums, like never stop, um, even like going outside and enjoying the creativity of God in nature, um, yeah. taking those outlets and continuing to just feed yourself on those things. That's good. Like to be stirred up in your creativity to find things that inspire you. Yes, finding yeah. people who are creative and bouncing ideas, getting yeah. together, talking with them, continuing that conversation of art with people and engaging with art and with other people. Because I think a lot of creatives feel like very alone. Mm-hmm. They're like, um, they tend, to, well, you create by yourself usually. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I, I know some creatives do gather together. And I think that would be really. I think it's really healthy. I think that would be very healthy to create together. Mm -hmm. Um, I would love to see more of that happen. I would love to have that too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just to have the body encourage each other and what they're doing. And you do that with um, community of Christian creatives, just encouraging people to continue to create and to, to bounce ideas off of one another through what they're looking at. So I think that's awesome. What you're doing is amazing. Thank you. (laughs) Well, I'm just going to give him credit. So (laughs) So I would love to ask if you could pray over the creative mm-hmm. and anyone who's going to be watching the videos. So mm-hmm. just whatever God puts on your heart. Yeah, definitely. So Father, we just thank you for this time that we're able to come together and just talk about art and be able to talk about your heart. And I pray for people who are watching um, that have this artistic gift that's stirring on the inside of them. Father, I pray that you would just draw that out of them. You would, just like you do for me, popping images in my mind, I pray that you would bless people with that same kind of um, relationship as well, that images will pop into their mind, that they'll be able to draw and draw with you and draw for you, and that your name will continue to be shared throughout the world through the art that we are creating. So Father, I just bless them right now. Let them know your love even more. In Jesus' name, amen. Alrighty. I believe this is still live. I'm not 100% sure, but um, 
Misty, when you do see this, thank you so much for having me on live. I enjoy so much just being able to be here and being able to share what God has put on my heart. Um, God bless you. And I hope that everybody watching you have a great rest of your day. So I apologize for that. The battery just went low. So um, if Ashley jumps on, then I will add her. And I apologize for that, everyone. So she was in the middle of praying, but I just wanted to, I had to jump back on here because it was still going live. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, so I just wanted to thank you all for joining us today. And I am just so thankful for Ashley and her heart and just being able to talk about the Lord, talk about his heart. And I just want to encourage any of you that have been watching that um, God has made you creative in so many ways and just to ask him about that, like seek him about that and let him show you how he's made you creative. And um, don't be afraid to just try out new things and um, try them out with him. Just let him guide you, like whether it's colors or direction, whatever it is, um, just let him show you. So I just want to bless you. I want to thank you for being here with us. And um, we look forward to seeing you on the next interview that will be coming up before too long. And um, again, um, if Ashley jumps on in the next minute or two, then I will just add her in. But um, remember, you can find us at our website, uh, com, And on Instagram, we're on Instagram. We'd love to share your work there. And um, I just love what Ashley shared about how uh, God is connecting creatives there and encouraging them to connect with him as they create and stay creative and just um, to prosper in everything that he's given you. And um, I just bless you all and just say, I love you guys and be blessed. We will see you soon.